Oh, so I wanted to make uh, another video. I haven't got anything planned really. It's just that I haven't made a video for a while. And there's lots of things I want to talk about and that, but I want them to be on better planned videos. So I just felt like smoking this particular pipe. This is my Peterson Dracula 999 sandblasted which at the time I got it was very very lucky to get a sandblasted in the UK but they are a lot more easy to get now that um, smokingpipes.com have taken over Peterson and according to the box I usually smoke Samuel Gar with Bothy Flake in this but I haven't got any of that so I've got some of the original flake which will do for now Missy the lad is in the kitchen at the moment doing some baking She's just stopped for a second while I'm doing this and she's sitting down playing Candy Crush. And as the smoke started to come out of my pipe then she moved the bowl that's got the uh, cake mix in it away. Is it cake mix or batter? It's batter isn't it? It's batter because she's making the sponge. She doesn't want her sponge cake to have that barbecue smell. Hmm? Come to the fire station tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, it's all in light. Go on, and that's gone out, so. I wish it was Bothy Flake, I do like that. But I've run out, but so many tobaccos that, that I enjoy. And you can't have them all. But I can enjoy a nice drink. I've got me some black sheep ale today. Bought this a few weeks back, but it's having the time to sit and enjoy it. So it's been in the fridge for a while. Nice big head on it. Mm. Bit of a fruity smell to it. I'll let that settle. So did you see the video I made of the dogs? You know, we're mad over the um, Gremlin Furby, modelled on the Mugwai from the uh, Gremlin films. It's a Furby that we bought years ago, and while I was playing out at my mum's house, we found it, put some batteries in, and it works. And as you can see, the dogs aren't too keen on it.
I was going to say especially the little one but they're both little because that's the breed but uh, the younger one's catching the bigger one up now we always find it amazing how two animals that are like brother and sister like that can be so different the little one, Dotty, she's a real live wire. When she sees you coming down the path and she starts jumping up and down at the patio doors, you think she's got springs in her arms, so the way she takes off, she leaps about four or five times her own height. Good health. Very nice. But I've basically spent the four days I've got off at my mum's house sorting out because Somebody wants to rent the place, so obviously we've got to clear the place. But it's incredible, the things that you find there, things that my mum must have stored up over the years, and my dad actually stored up over the years, incredible things. An old, um, an old fashioned, um, I, I've called it a camcorder, but it's not, it's the days when they used to have film, a little cine film thing for making home movies back in the days when you put tape in and it went round and you made your own home movies that way before digital. Things like that. And things that I'd had years ago which I forgot. Now I was clearing out um, a dresser and lots of things just stacked up in this dresser that I hadn't looked in there for, for years and probably my mum mom hadn't done it either, she hadn't put stuff in there and forgot about it. And I discovered three action figures that I'd played with when I was a kid in the 1970s. And these are action figures from a film that came out, I think, in the late 1960s, early 1970s. But the toys are stamped 1974. So this might be nostalgia for you. You Maybe you had some of these if you're old enough. Planet of the Apes, ever seen the film? These were characters, as I say, stamped on the back, it says 1974. So that one is, um, I think in the film, he was called Cornelius, I think. But I think in the television series, he was called Galen or something like that. If it was the same character. There's the Doctor. Whose name I can't remember, but his clothes are looking a bit grubby. I'm going to give it a very delicate hand wash, see if I can get them back to the original state. And this fella, General Urko, I love that, love the hat on him. <laughs> 